Wall Benick here. Welcome back to another video, part two of the previous 90s Walmart video. Now, first off, I just want to let you all know, thank you so much for how good I did. I, YouTube picked it up apparently, but I thank you all for clicking on the video. I was blown away how good it did, so thank you if you clicked on it. And if you're just stumbling upon part two, this video first, go on and check out part one if you want, but hope you enjoy this video. It's gonna have some stuff that I didn't add because I wanted to keep the time of the original video down and also didn't get the footage of uh, my girlfriend's phone. So we have that footage now. So so for the people that asked for a longer video in the comments of part one, here it is. What we're gonna go over in this video is talking about previous stuff that the store had, like the old McDonald's, that old 90s style McDonald's with the old wallpaper looking thing, old signage around the store, and just really more recording in general a lot more footage so enjoy now there's a reason why i call this the last 90s walmart i had a few comments on the part one saying stuff like there's a 90s walmart where i am and there's lots of 90s walmarts and walmarts built in the 90s but the reason why i'm calling this one the true last 90s walmart is because of signage like this other upgraded walmarts still sometimes very very rarely use the old signage on the front with the slash or the star like this like the one in Tabor, alberta i'll put up on screen that one still has that old sign but on the inside it's completely remodeled at least more or less the Tabor walmart still does have the old thank you for choosing your local walmart sign which is pretty cool but other than that the Tabor walmart and others like it that have the rare logo on side it's just a walmart once you get inside which honestly makes you think why don't they just upgrade the whole entire store outside as well once they do those upgrades but eh, who knows but that's why i think the one we went to is the true last night as well because it has that ancient signage that i don't think any other walmart does if you have any walmart to the area that do have those old signs make a comment below let me know but everything i've looked at it, there's nothing all the other walmarts like you see on screen now are slowly rolling out their new look of the brushed concrete everywhere and just it's gray and blue gray and blue gray and blue everywhere it just i do not like the look too much some of it is okay but most of it I just it's mainly just the floor i don't like the layout is okay it's just the floor i don't like and you might be wondering why i hate it so much just the reason why I don't like it is just gives me the feeling that like I'm shopping in a giant warehouse. I didn't get that feeling with the older ones. Maybe that's just me, but I didn't get that feeling like I was shopping in a giant warehouse. And a few other people in the part one agreed with me in the comments on that one too. Warehouse. So yeah, maybe that's just me, but I just hate the modern floors that they're slowly rolling out. Lots of them do still have the white tiles, but it's slowly rolling out everywhere. And it's honestly cool that Walmart could be operating this and this at the same time. Just such a funny contrast in my opinion. Same contrast can be seen here too. It's just, it's just so different. It just, it's funny. But let's move on to the older McDonald's, which closed way back in the store. The McDonald's located in these old Walmarts is a big piece of nostalgia for me because my grandparents would take me there every weekend back when I was like 10 and they'd still do it into my teenage years. I didn't care. It was fun. But sadly our hometown Walmart's McDonald's closed. I guess they're either not getting enough business or Walmart's just going for healthier options, which I understand. That's a good initiative to do. But as seen earlier, this old 90s Walmart's McDonald's closed way long ago around between 2009 and 2013 somewhere around there meaning the one you're seeing here is not the one we went out to record but it's mcdonald's in tabor's walmart which as i said earlier was remodeled but the mcdonald's is still fully old other than the screens i guess but it still has its old seats which were those old uncomfortable plastic metal whatever seats which not really that nostalgic they were pretty uncomfortable but still good memories and we also have the old wallpaper look wrapping around this the walls cool stuff good memories back in the day and that's the mcdonald's now i still stand by what i said in part one that you can only go so far with a old walmart video so 
The rest of the video will just be me not talking and just footage of us recording around the Walmart electronics section. Well, pass by of it. And it's a few other things. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. And stick around if you want to see more stuff like this. Old stores, some old abandoned stores, and just older stuff in general from the 90s and 2000s. If you liked the video, stick around. If you didn't like it, well, I'm sorry. Fennec, out. Have a great day, evening, or whatever time it is for you. Enjoy the rest.